Doctors and nurses of Reddit, have you ever witnessed a couple have a child that was obviously not the father's? If so, what happened? I had a vasectomy. While chatting with the doctor, he told me about another patient. This guy had three kids and came in for the snip snip, because he and his wife decided they were done having children. The doc opened up his sack and found nothing to snip. This guy was born without the ability to have any children. The pool doctor had to explain to him what happened. Imagine finding that out that way. This is hardcore. I used to work with a guy whose wife was pregnant. Near time for delivery everyone at our place of business had a big party with gifts, money, etc. So big day comes. Water breaks. They get in car to go to hospital. She breaks the news on the way there it's not his. The kid is another race. And if he could just drop her off at the hospital and then leave. That would be great. He took a few days off work. Found a new apartment. Moved out. Filed divorce etc. He called into work and told someone what happened. News spread pretty fast. All congratulations cards, etc. were cleaned up and thrown away. Everyone was very sensitive to his pain. Except, somehow, I don't know how, I did not get the news. So on his first day back, I walked into the office he shared with 6-7 other guys and said hey hey, daddyo, how's fatherhood so far? Getting any sleep? Got some pictures? Let's see the little tyke. He slowly lifted his head to look at me with a painful look. The room was dead silent. One of his workmates stood up, grabbed my arm and walked me out of the room, shushing me. What happened? I asked, did it die? What's the problem? When he told me I about died myself. I still feel bad for the dude and it's been 30 years. Hey hey daddy ol mayo. Nice one. Hey hey daddy -o. Rev up those fryers. I worked with this guy a few years back. Him and his wife were pregnant. They were super excited and shared the news with everyone and put stuff all over social media. So fast forward a few months and the kid is unfortunately stillborn. They had a professional photographer come to the hospital and they did a series of photos. Holding the baby. Dressing it up. Kissing it on the head. You know. Usual newborn photos. The bizarre thing is they put them all on Facebook. I found it kind of morbid, but whatever. I've never lost a kid so that's cool. One day at work a guy from a different branch comes into the store and congratulates my coworker. Slaps him on the back and says all this stereotypical new dad small talk BS. My coworker informs him the baby was born dead. The other guy refuses to believe it and keeps saying frick you man. Quit messing with me. I saw the pictures on Facebook they go back and forth and the guy finally realizes he is not being messed with. This was the most uncomfortable exchange I have ever seen between two humans. I laughed out loud. Because it's my mechanism when I'm uncomfortable. Had a college buddy whose fiance was pregnant. They were the perfect couple. Both had just over a year with great careers starting out. Everything was butterflies and rainbows. Fast forward to the delivery room, they're in there and out comes a very black baby. He's quite the pale redhead, and she's a blonde, blue eyes Texas girl. He made sure everyone was okay, waited for her parents to arrive, and left without saying a word. He moved all his stuff out of the house while she was in the hospital, and cut off all communications with her, just walked out of their leaves in the most stone cold act I'd ever seen. They were together for 9 years and he just left cold turkey. She tried to contact him at his job a few times, but he quickly moved up the ladder and eventually got a job in another city. He told me once that he took solace in the fact that her family had already dropped about $10,000 in a wedding that never happened. He's a gent for waiting for her parents. Yeah, I'll admit I don't see myself being able to wait. That said I can't even imagine being in that situation real class and I'm sure someone with that fortitude will land on their feet. I worked as a lab tech before I became a nurse. We had a set of twins in the NICU that were super early and the mum was still in the or getting sewed up from the caesarean. I was drawing baby B's blood when mum was wheeled over to baby A's isolate. She was crying and said, oh thank god you're not black. I have been so worried the last 7 months. So newborn babies, especially when they are born early, are very pink, almost red. So even if a baby was part black, 
their skin isn't necessarily dark yet. But looking at these babies, it was obvious they were going to be black. The shape of the face, the texture of the hair, and baby bee that I was working on had an intense Mongolian spot. A few weeks later, my NICU nurse friend told me that the babies were now on a no-info status meaning security alert. Can't give anyone information about them. Can't refer to them by name, etc. She said there was a huge fight, because the mom's husband, white guy, obviously noticed that the babies were half black and that mum had cheated on him and got pregnant. The real dad, black guy, came in, and didn't realize the mum was even married. Those pool babies. I was surprised at how red my 33 weeker was. One of the NICU nurses gave me a mean look when I told my husband that she looked like her old man alien. But she totally did. Why would she give you a mean look? It's your baby. Pool guys too. Imagine finding out your wife has cheated that way or that the girl you've been seeing is married. The two guys should adopt said baby together and start a sitcom. I had the opposite happen. Sort of. My wife and I are both brown skinned dark haired half Mexicans and our moms are both 100% white blondes with blue and green eyes. So we sort of knew it was a crap shoot with our baby, but the nurse who was assisting with delivery had no idea. At one point she gets sort of nervous and calls for help and another I guess more senior nurse came in and nodded and came over to talk to me. I thought there was something wrong with the baby as she comes over and stumbles through some questions. So I was the father and no one else was coming, etc. Then finally she awkwardly asks if either of us happened to be blonde growing up. I said yeah I was and both the baby's grandparents are blonde as they come and this wave of relief went over her and she brought me over to see this blonde as hell crowning baby head. It's funny, because he looks just like me if you applied a gringo Instagram filter. We often get awkward questions about his heritage and my wife always hits them with yeah we're not sure if he's mine. It's always funny to see people nod for a moment and then go wait what? Sometimes the copier is just low on toner. When my Mexican dad first saw him he said you took him out too soon. He wasn't done cooking yet. The dad least thing you could possibly say in that situation. Similar, but I don't know where else to put it, because it just makes me laugh. My aunt is a nurse in the maternity ward. She had a couple come in where they were both very black. Lady has baby and it is white as frick. Like, totally pale, no trace of any pigment. They put the baby on her mum and the mum starts yelling about how this isn't her baby and they stole her baby. In all fairness, you can be very confused during, after delivery, it wasn't stupidity. Just sobbing and freaking out and the father is just sitting there and looks very confused but Kasu even he's realizing that even if she did cheat, there is no way the baby would be that white. The doctor and nurses are trying to assure her that this is her baby and the skin usually darkens later. Come to find out, when he called his mum, she pointed out that they have a second cousin who is albino and maybe baby got that gene. Turns out that's what happened. Baby was albino. Finally, one happy ending in this entire thread. Rough thread when the happy ending is unexpected albinism. My fiance's father is almost certainly not his biological dad. His mum was just a genuinely terrible human being who didn't even try to hide the fact she was cheating. But his dad loved him from the second he was born and when the mum decided 4 years later she just didn't want the kid anymore she just gave him to his dad and rode off. Jay's dad ended up getting married and they tried 4 kids before finding out his sperm count was too low to ever father children. They ended up adopting many years later. He sat my fiancé down when my fiancé was 13 and told him the truth and that if Jay wanted to test they would, but it was up to him. Jay cried and told him he just wanted him to be his dad and that was the end of that. I originally had put real dad, instead of biological dad. Changed it when several people pointed out that the man who raised him is most certainly his real dad. Man, this is a great story. What an awesome dad he has. It's a good story. They've had their ups and downs like any father and son, but they're really tight now. They don't even think of themselves as anything but real father and son. It's funny to see them though. Jay is 5 feet 7 inches blonde hair and bright blue eyes and his dad is 6 feet 4 inches with jet black hair and dark eyes. I know a girl who was pregnant with her boyfriend's best friend's baby. 
He found out there was a possibility about a week before she gave birth. I went up to see her once he was born and he looked just like the friend. There was no question. I broke the news to her boyfriend and he was absolutely devastated. His parents were heartbroken and super pissed. They had bought the girl everything she needed, including a $500 car seat, stroller set. She refused to give anything back. She started up a relationship with a friend immediately after having their child, and they're still together a decade later. But the, the kicker for me has always been that the boyfriend and best friend were next door neighbors. She moved into his house after coming home from the hospital. So her ex-boyfriend and his family had to see them basically every day raising this child that they had believed to be his for the entire pregnancy. I can't even imagine. That's fricked up. Yeah, it was a giant shoot show. I was pretty close to everyone involved at the time and it was hard to watch him just break down. I don't know why I come to these threads. Yeah, why is that? You slash frick me daddy? He looked just like the friend? Was the friend Winston Churchill? Because every baby I've ever seen looked like him.